Often referred to as the City of the Dead, the village of Dargovs is considered to be one of the more mysterious sites in Russia. Hidden away in one of the five mountain ridges somewhere in the Caucasus Mountains, the city is actually an ancient necropolis full of tombs or crypts. The people who lived here buried their loved ones in this site for reasons that have been lost in the passage of time. Considered one of the creepiest places in Russia, sitting on the graves of 10,000 bodies. Many myths and legends surround the site, and in the past, local people refused to go here out of fear that they would not come out alive. Some sources say the oldest crypts dates back to the 16th century and were made due to a plague that swept through the area decimating the population. Dargafs is located in the Republic of North Ossetia in southern Russia. The site sits on the slope of a hill overlooking the Fiagdan River. It lies in the middle of a mountain valley which stretches over 17 kilometers with 4,000 meter peaks looming above the village. The first mention of the site dates back to the beginning of the 14th century AD, when the ancestors of the modern-day Ossetians settled down on the mountain ridge. Since the land was so expensive, it is said they were forced to choose the windiest and most unserviceable place imaginable. However, at one time, this area was also the center of the largest population in eastern Ossetia. The necropolis looks like the remains of a medieval village, with small dwellings grouped together on a grassy hill. The grassy hill that Dargav is, is located on is dotted with little white buildings. These white house-like structures are stone crypts, and the necropolis has almost a hundred of them that rise up the hillside in a very organized manner. At the back of the entire complex, is a watchtower whose top part has been destroyed. It is said that the tower was placed there to watch over the resting souls. The tombs themselves are shaped like huts, with curved roofs going inwards in steps and pointed peaks at the top, typical of Nak architecture. Some of the bigger crypts are two to four stories high, and the smaller crypts have flat sides on the front. Several crypts have no roofs at all. On the inside of the larger crypts, there is a pyramidal groin vault complex that holds up the roof. The smaller crypts have pointed barrel vaults. These pyramidal and conical roof vaults are built of slate in the form of stepped ledges. The walls are made up of stone blocks and mortared, most likely with lime or clay lime, and have square window-like openings which were designed to put corpses inside. The people who lived in the valley buried their loved ones along with clothes and other belongings. Each family had a crypt, and the taller the tomb, the greater the number of people who were buried inside. Some have underground chambers, while others have two and even three floors, depending on the number of generations of family they hold. There are also common crypts, which were used for those who had no family or were from outside the village. Interestingly, it was discovered that the bodies inside the crypts were buried in wooden structures resembling boats. One was even found with an oar next to it. The mystery remains as to how and why the boats came to be there when there are no navigable rivers nearby. One explanation is that it was believed that the departed soul had to cross a river in order to get to heaven, similar to the afterlife stories of ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia. Another interesting fact is that there are wells in front of each crypt. Many coins have been found in the ground near the complex, and it is said that when the Ossetians buried their dead, they dropped a coin in the well. If it happened to hit a stone at the bottom, that meant that the soul of the dead had reached heaven. One legend that surrounds the cemetery says that any man who dared walk in would never come out alive again. This is said to be the reason locals almost never visit Dargavs. Another legend says that the site is where a group of warriors kidnapped a beautiful girl from a faraway land. Since they could not agree on who owned her, they killed her. The gods punished the Highlanders for murder and they slowly died from a strange disease in the tombs. The creepy city attracts tourists from nearby as well as all over the world. Although due to the difficulty in finding or traveling to the location, there are not a lot of tourists at any given time. Some say it's the local superstition that keeps visitors at bay, but those who do visit now pose the greatest danger to the city, with many taking bones and skulls as souvenirs. 
without realizing they are the remnants of real people. In 2018, a Moscow-based film company was forced to drop all plans to shoot a low-budget horror thriller at the village because a regional administrator reportedly got spooked by the script and refused to allow the firm to film there. Most historians believe that a plague, most likely cholera, hit the area of Ossetia sometime between the 16th and 18th century AD, one which claimed tens of thousands of lives and dropped the Ossetian population from 200,000 at the end of the 18th century to 16,000 by the middle of 19th century. And so the necropolis buildings doubled as a quarantine site. I don't know how strictly the quarantine was enforced, but there's evidence that richer families built their own quarantine pens while the less wealthy made their home alongside the corpses. The sick would take the food relatives or friends handed through the narrow openings and wait until they either got better or added to the crypt's body count. Imagine the place as a quarantine site. Dargaf's is probably one of the safest places to be. There are few people, little traffic, and none of the extreme public measures taken in nearby Chechnya and Dagestan, littered with strict checkpoints between counties and semi-legal entry restrictions for people from some of Russia's larger cities. There are even claims that, particularly in these two Caucasian regions, reporting infections or disclosing accurate death statistics can lead to a brisk chat with local authorities. This is a stark contrast to Dargavs, where drawing attention to the deed is a matter of local pride, as well as much needed tourist revenue. There are several similar cities of the dead scattered across Ossetia, but Dargavs is considered to be the most impressive probably due to the large number of mausoleums here and the stunning natural beauty of the area. It's hard to know which legends and superstitions, many associated with death, are for the tourists and which are legit. Among the gems that don't hold up under fact-checking is that soldiers in the Alanian army died in battles as far away as northern Italy. They didn't. And that the necropolis is UNESCO-recognized. It's not, although perhaps it should be.